6. Now notice how we have an x minus 6 sitting right there. That's beautiful when that happens. That's usually a little bit easier. That means we really don't want to factor out uh, anything. So don't be careful here. We're not factoring out a 0. But if you factor out a positive 1, it just stays the same. Right? So lastly, we have 1 third. And your two factors, 1 is 3x plus 1. And the other one is x minus 6. Right? This one's a little bit different than the one we did before. Easier, I would say, because you now check here. Can you factor anything out? No man. Anything here? No man's good to go. So uh, that's how you do those type of questions. All right. Now we're going to uh, kick it over to the next page, and this is going to be a little bit more of the review stuff that we did from last year. All right. So follow along. All right. Some polynomial expressions contain what we call functions. We dealt with functions quite a bit. We had fun with functions. So some polynomial expressions contain functions of a variable. For instance, x plus 3 squared minus 6 onto x plus 3 minus 16 contains this x plus 3. So if you notice, you guys were used to seeing this um, kind of like, I could write this as x squared minus 6x minus 16. You'd feel more comfortable with that. What I've done is I've used functions here, and I've substituted that x plus 3 in for all those x's as so. So what we're going to do to solve these type of questions is we're going to use substitution. So I'll review one right here. Example number 3a is uh, kind of an old school one that we would have done uh, last year where it's uh, relatively straightforward. Since there's no coefficient in front of the x, we can simply just go like so, put an x and an x. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to give you negative 24 that have a sum of 5. Well, those numbers, of course, you can probably figure out fairly easily, are negative 3 and positive 8. Okay, This is the one that I coin as regular factoring. All right, And it's of the form x squared plus bx plus c. So notice that there's essentially just a 1 in front. Okay. Let's try the next one. This one looks uh, a little bit more interesting. So what am I going to start out with here? Well, what I'm going to do to make this easier is since this equation essentially is one that you guys have done before, um, it's not too difficult as long as you use a let statement. So I'm going to start with a let statement here. We're going to let a equal x minus 6. Okay, So that's going to be very important. Right? And so maybe I'll just make a little note over here. We're going to use substitution for this one. We didn't need to for the one before. This one you are going to need to. Use substitution to put into ax squared plus bx plus c4. So notice that this time the coefficient in front is not a 1. All right? So if I use substitution right th like that, what I can do is I can say that this equation now is equal to 2. And since I'm substituting an a in for that, I can say it's 2a squared plus 10a minus 48. Notice how that is a heck of a lot easier. Using our AC method again, we have A times C over here. A times C. 2 times negative 48 is negative 96. Two numbers that multiply to give you negative 96 to have a sum of 10 would be 16, positive 16, and a negative 6. All right, now I know I'm doing that uh, pretty quick. Uh, some of you may need to take a little bit of time. Remember, worst case scenario is what you do over here is you do basically kind of like a, a factor tree or uh, list all the factors, and uh, you'll soon find out which ones will um, add to give you a 10. All right. So factoring as we normally would, we have a 2a squared plus 16a minus 6a minus 48. What can we factor out? We factor out a 2a, leaving you with an a plus 8. And we can factor out a negative 6, leaving you, of course, with a plus 8. So one of your factors is 2a minus 6. The other factor is a plus 8. But since we have used a, um, a let statement, we're going to substitute this x minus 6 back in here. All right. But one thing I just noticed that you want to be careful of is, have we factored this fully? Can we factor anything else? You actually can here, right? If you notice this equation, or sorry, this uh, binomial, you can factor out a 2. You're going to have 2 onto a minus 3. It's going to save us a little bit of grief. Now, I'll do this in a different color. Let's do blue. We're going to substitute in x minus 6 now for every a that we see. So we have 2, 
then I'm going to write this as x minus 6 minus 3, and this is going to be x minus 6 plus 8. Simplifying now, what do we have? We have two brackets, x minus 9 and x plus 2 as your final solution for this one. Okay. Next one is almost the same. Uh, I'd like you guys to try this one on your own down here. Uh, give it a try. So pause it, give it a try, and then see if you get the same answer that I do here. I'm going to rock through this one fairly quickly. Uh, really the same idea, I just want you guys to see another one. So I'm going to start with uh, my let statement. Let a equal 2x plus 5. So what do we have? We have 3 a squared plus 10a minus 8. My ac over here is going to be negative 24. And numbers that multiply to give you negative 24 that have a sum of 10 would be 12 and negative 2. Factor out of 3a, and you factor out a negative 2, leaving you a 3a minus 2 as one of the factors, and a plus 4 as the other factor. All right. Since these are simplified uh, completely, I'm going to substitute back in the 2x minus 5. I'll have to use brackets inside of brackets here. The first one, what I got here, I got a 6x plus 15 minus 2, and 2x plus 9. All right, simplifying fully, kind of running out of real estate, I'll do it up here. We have a 6x plus 13, all multiplied by 2x plus 9. You can definitely see your algebra skills are coming into play right here. Uh, last thing I would check is, is there anything else that you can factor out of there? There isn't so you know you are good to go. Okay. So that's an example of two different factoring methods. The last one we're going to talk about over here is a uh, good old difference of squares. All right, so this was kind of like a, a special type that we used uh, last year in grade 10. So factor each polynomial expression using the difference of squares pattern. Well, the difference of squares pattern is basically, um, this first example explains it. It says if you have some term squared and then it has to be a subtraction sign, and then another term squared, so like a b squared like that, you can factor it as being a plus b, all multiplied by a minus b each time. All right. So your solutions now. Let's uh, let's deal with these guys down here. You might be able to do these ones on your own. It's your call. So the first term essentially is your 3x plus 4. So we're going to have something like this. 3x plus 4. And then your second term, so like the 3x plus 4 was your a up here. The b is your 2x plus sorry, 2y minus 1, so I'm going to write 2y minus 1 like that with brackets. And then since I had a plus up there, I'm going to put a plus right here. So that's like the first bracket. The second bracket's going to look the same, only it has a subtraction sign, like so. Okay. Now all we do is we'd simplify. So in this first bracket, we have a 3x plus 4 plus 2y plus 1. That's just going to give me a 3x plus 2y, and then notice that the 4 and the negative 1, uh, those can simplify, so that gives me a plus 3. Alright, now simplifying the uh, the next side here, we have a 3x plus 4. Um, this one you want to be careful, because notice that the negative is going to be applied here and here, so that's actually going to turn it into a uh, positive 1. So simplifying here, we have 3x minus 2y, a positive 4 minus a negative 1 is actually giving you a positive 5. So that would be your uh, solution. So those would be the uh, the factored forms of those. All right. Uh, last one here is uh, kind of as, as tough as she's going to get. All right. So let's uh, let's try this guy. What I would notice right here is that this is in the form a a uh, squared minus b squared. So it is a difference of squares. But this time now you have these ugly coefficients, these 27 and the 75s that you're going to have to deal with. Well, you always want to try and factor um, out of them right away if you can. So for instance, you can factor out a three. So I noticed that uh, 3 goes out of the 27 and the 75. That would leave you with 9 onto 2x minus 3, all squared, minus 25 onto y minus 4, all squared, like so. 
All right. And now this kind of just turns into what you were doing before. So the 3 is going to stay on the outside. Now what we do is we take the square root of that first whole term. So the square root of that first whole term is going to be a 3, and then the bracket just stays the same, only now it's not squared. Same thing with the next one. I'm going to go with negative this time, so we'll go negative 5, y minus 4, like so. So now I'm going to put another bracket there, because that's like your first bracket in the, the, it's like your a minus b. Now we have to deal with the a plus b. Well, a plus b is really the same thing. Everything's going to look the same. Only now I'm just going to put that 5 in the middle. Make it positive. Now you'll see that I have two square brackets, and then those inner brackets are my two like that. Lastly, we're going to have to do some simplifying here. Now simplifying in the brackets, you have the 3. Okay, this is going to give me a 6x minus 3. I'll foil that out. That's negative 5y plus 20. I said foil, I meant uh, distribute it. All right, and then over here we have 6x minus 9. Ooh, made an error over there, didn't I? Uh, and then plus 5y minus 20, like so. Right. Lastly, let's simplify further. We have 6x, so that's good. Minus 5y, and then this is going to give you a plus 11. Fantabulous. And then the next one we have 6x plus 5y minus 29. Okay. Uh, I knew this one uh, was going to be a long lesson. Uh, my apologies, uh, but it is, uh, it's kind of taxing. Um, if you guys need some more help on factoring, you forgot uh, a little bit, come talk to me and we can go over some on the board to make sure that you're feeling good. Uh, that concludes this lesson. Thanks.